Hello guys, and we are bringing you yet another episode, and this one's going to be Last Titan Standing on export for you. So we're going to get into this gameplay guys, and we're basically going to talk you through it. As you can see, all three of them have rushed the same way, so they're all working together. But in all effect, with them all rushing the same way, it makes it a lot easier for us to kill them. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to use these clusters to our advantage here. You see this guy here? I actually missed that shot. Hiccups. Damn it. Okay, so I'm missing shots left, right and centre here, so this is not like me. Okay, he's got the Vortex Shield, but my Amp Art Cannon is going to take care of that. We're just going to knock him down. He's into the Nuka Jet. We're going to get away from that. Now, this will give us a perfect opportunity just to regen our shields, as you see there. And it actually ends up the end of the round anyway. We are moving into round two, guys. Are you ready for this? Let's get ready to rumble! So, anyway, despite my terrible lack of singing abilities, we are just going to move into the next round. Now you see, I go directly central, turn left, and then we're going to look on this hill, and what do you have? Oh, wait a minute, one, oh, coming back for me, are we? You're in a bad position. Now you see this is exactly where most of the titans actually went, they went over that bridge where the railing is and he's just going to be easy pickings up there. And the kill, looking for the eject, can't see his uh, jetpacks. And this time we're all going to go up the hill. Now you want to be careful up here guys because you don't want them to turn the electric fence on while you're up here. But it is a very good high vantage point as well. In other words, you can see exactly where they are. Completely failed that cluster missile, but he's coming to me anyway, which is going to be nice and easy for me. Going to look at the other one now. Boom. And see the amount of damage that took off then. And we'll use the second kill just to bring the Titan down. Oh, sorry, jetpacks. Ah, we see the jetpacks. He's coming for me. Okay, so this is exactly why I moved backwards. You can see the alarm on at the minute. He tried to switch the electric on. That didn't work out for him. But that was a close call. So now you see exactly why I said you don't want to get caught up there when the electric gets turned on. Okay, we are moving into round three. So I'm actually going to use exactly the same again because for some reason none of them seem to be coming left and then down central. So this is just going to allow me to sneak up behind them. Let's see if they learn the lesson. One, two, they're all up there. Now that I've shot they know I'm here. Oh, he's coming down the hill. Oh, he's coming down this time. What's going on? Yeah, I'm getting clusters and everything towards me. I take out that Titan right there. Gonna bring in the electric smoke. Have a little scout around. Where is that? Oh, he's there. Oh, I'm in a bit of a bad position now, and he's just completely destroyed my tank. But before he can get that punch, I'm just gonna eject. There you go. As he ejects, I actually end up at grenading down. It is late at night, guys. I'm a little bit slow today. I'm very sorry. Teabag! Sorry, what I love doing in the game is I do love teabagging players when I kill them, to be honest with you. They do do the same to me as well, so for example, if I teabag them and they actually get a kill on me later, they'll do it back. 
And it's all a bit of banter, really. It's just kind of fun to do. <laughs> right, so that is the end of round three. Now we are going to move into round four and let's see how it plays out. Switching sides. High ranks, last Titan standing gameplay, guys. Okay, so obviously I've got no need to change things up for myself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down central. There's a guy actually looking this time, so we place the cluster in hope that it does land near his feet. Unfortunately it doesn't, because he nomads up the top at the minute. I'm just going under the bridge this time. Now I see two down left down there. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to flank him, but I notice a Titan on this side right here. There we go. Okay, we're bringing in the smoke. Okay, they're all coming for me now. Right, so I'm in a two-on-one situation. My team's over the other side of the map. We're going to see how well I can play this one out. Oh. Double Titan, triple Titan, three verse one. Come on. Ah, synergy. Come on. Ah, I'm forced to eject. Okay, so it might be 3v1, but I'm going to use the auto eject right there. There we go. Double arc, which will bring down his shield. Unfortunately, I land in a bad position there. Just going to jump on. Disembarks. And we take him out with the pistol. And we just jump on again. And let's finish off the Titan. Okay, so as this Titan's been taken out, coming to the end of the round, we've got one Titan left. I see a Titan over here, I'm trying to get as close as possible. I'm going to try and help him out. There we go, I'll take him out. got very little health left and we actually get a round loss on that one I'm not even sure how that one happened but higher dream must have lost his Titan somehow <clears throat> and we are moving into round five right so the cat that they're using is satellite uplink turbo engine etc so obviously the guy with the satellite uplink can see where we are, but it's no major advantage to be honest with you, because it is the last Titan standing, bearing in mind, sure he can see where we are, but we can also just pawn him back, simple as that. Boom! Snuck up on you bro! And we're just going to take some cheeky shots there, use the electric smoke. Obviously he's backed off. I was trying to see if you could get up here. Turns out you can't do. No, they're in the corner. That's why I use the cluster. Then I realised that they're all in the corner and kind of fell into that trap. So I'm just going to nuke eject. They do run away. Double arc, as you can see, takes down the shield. We land on the rodeo, and we're just going to make sure this Titan gets taken out. There you go, so the Titan taken out. This time, I'm just going to change my position. Trying to land on him, and miss it. And as he's coming back, he actually get crushed there, so there's my death. I'm coming to the end of the gameplay now, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you do like the videos. And peace out.